Hey guys, I'm gonna do a video for you today. Um, I got a comment the other day on a video. Um, I don't remember. I think I was shooting a Ruger LC9. It's one of my older videos, and the guy basically made a comment of because um, I was, you know, firing the weapon, dropping the mag on the ground, putting another mag in, and uh, he made a comment about you know I shouldn't drop my magazines on the ground like that. I'm gonna get dirt in them, and it'll get in the inner workings of the gun and cause all kinds of issues and you know that's fine that's his opinion um i do clean my magazines as well as my guns but um then he uh he had to finish it off with uh uh he basically called me a moron and you know i thought it was funny but you know i got to thinking um and i wrote him back basically saying look you know i that's the way i train um that's the way i fight i'm shooting my weapon it goes dry that magazine I'm, that magazine's gone another one's in back in the fight i ain't got time to pull it out put it in my pocket pull it in a dump pouch that's not the way i train and i understand you know in our in law enforcement we we do all types of training scenarios and there is a time maybe in, a, in the low on the action where you do maybe a tactical reload where you still have rounds in that magazine yeah you might want to stow that you stow that away put a fresh one in and then get back in it but um um so yeah we went we kind of went back and forth it was a cord release on my part at first he ended up apologizing for calling me a moron when i told but the thing is, um, it gave me a good idea uh, or something to reiterate to you guys that um, you need to uh, practice the way you fight or, because when it hits the fan and it goes all to you know what and stress levels up here, um, you, all you're going to do is revert back to your training, uh, muscle memory. Trust me, I've been there. I've done it. I, I, you know, we carry level three holsters. I've drawn that weapon. Don't even remember drawing it. It was just muscle memory. Had to get it out of there quick and um, get into the fight and um, and I and like I say you need to train the way you're gonna fight and I know a lot of you guys aren't uh, don't have an opportunity to come down to the range like I do and you know draw your weapon from concealment because you all you CCWs out there you better practice drawing from concealment and uh, however you choose to carry your gun inside a waistband outside a waistband pocket holster you need to actually draw that weapon from that position and and when you're shooting not just you know get up on the line and hold it in your hand take a few shots and you know if that's all you've got that's fine that that's that's marksmanship but um you need to while you're at home and make sure your weapon's unloaded stand in front of a mirror practice drawing that weapon dry firing continually over and over again draw that weapon from concealment um get that muscle memory because i'm trust me i've seen seasoned veteran law enforcement officers just go all to pieces in a stressful situation and all you revert back to is your training at that point, muscle memory. I mean, we've got uh, holsters, um, like you say, level three holsters, and one of the steps, there's a hood um, that goes over the top of the gun that has to be flipped off of, off forward or whatever is one of the initial steps. Um, I've seen guys in training, in firearms training, we do twice a year, um, uh, cheat, I guess. I mean, there ain't no other word for it, cheat. They'll keep that, foot, that hood pushed forward to give them just a little bit more uh advantage of getting the gun out of the holster because at certain ranges you know our, our the whole the targets start like this the timer and you know you watch your threat when it flips you've got to draw your weapon get the shots off before that thing turns back and a lot of them will cheat and push that hood forward where they can you know get their gun out of the holster quicker because if you don't get them rounds off that's a zero and it really affects your uh, qualification but um i've seen video and i've seen a video of an officer who obviously probably did that did that during farms he kept the foot the hood forward and um when he was qualifying and then there was some car cam video of him when he actually hit the fan and he tried to draw his weapon out of his holster and he was it was just this tug 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 about pull his belt off he could not get his handgun out of his holster because he was his muscle memory he was used to drawing that weapon doing the steps with the hood forward well you know in carry situation officers have to keep that hood up so his hood was up, so he was yanking, yanking. He never, like, never got that gun out of his holster. He couldn't figure out why his gun wouldn't come out. Well, that was why, because he cheated during his training. So that's why it's important that you train the way you're going to fight, because that's what it's going to be. I mean, when I draw my gun out and I drop that magazine, that's the way I'm going to fight. If, you, if you're one of those that you shoot and you take that magazine out, put it in your pocket, or, or trying to store it in a dump pouch, it hits the fan. That's what you're going to do, and you know that's fine, but... It, I say get that thing out of there and get in the fight. I mean, there's a time and place for it. Maybe you don't like dropping your magazines on the ground, but um, that's what, you know, that's the way I train. That's the way I fight. Get that mag out, get a fresh one in, get back in the fight. So um, just something to think about, guys. Um, 
Like I said, I get comments like that all the time. And like I said, he did apologize for calling me a moron. Once I explained my side of it, you know, the light came on. He said, well, yeah, okay, I can see that. I mean, that's just, that's the way we, that's the way we train. Um, you know, we, we're getting away from the standing at the, you know, the two-yard line, the three-yard line, the five-seven, and just shooting. We do have to do that to qualify uh, every year, day and night. And I'm going to do a video on that. A lot of y'all been asking to see that, what our qualifications consist of. But we're doing a whole lot more. We do a whole lot more moving and shooting. Running gun, I guess you can call it. A lot of people make fun of running gunners, but it's, I'm telling you, man, you get that heart rate up, that stress, you're running from barrier to barrier, shooting from different positions like prong, kneeling, um, shooting from cars. We do a whole lot more of that. And that's real world stuff right there. So it's important, guys. Remember, especially CCWs, train the way you fight. Um, because when it hits the fan, that's all you're going to have is your muscle memory and your training. So um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Y'all have a good one.